Okay, so we're upstairs in my kitchen, and these are how my sweet potatoes are doing. As you can see, they've really taken off, and these are actually the sweet potatoes that I harvested from last year. And it's just taking off so much here, as you can see. And let's see if we can measure some of these. And I did take off already three here, just you know, to put in the water, you just take off your lower leaves. And then, so let's see. Wow. So it's about say 18 inches long, 19 inches long. And that is a good size to take off. You want it about 12 inches all the way to 18 inches long. And you want it to have a, a pretty deep root base, if that makes sense. So. I need to actually get a bigger jar than this. It's just like a coffee mug, but I really like the depth of it. So this would actually start growing the roots. And this is actually after, I think like a day or two on that one. So they're doing pretty good. I just need to get an actual clear jar, which I do have. I just haven't actually got it up here yet. So I just removed all the all the leaves on the lower part that would be in the water. And then for here, instead of just breaking it off, I like just to take the scissors and then, here, let me turn this around here. So then you get this and then you'll want to cut these off here. Whatever ones that will be inside the water. And then you just stick it in your water. And then you'll want a big enough uh, container to hold because the roots will start getting uh, pretty wild, kind of like in here. So you want it uh, not too many in each glass. You want to be able to spread it out a little bit. Okay, so I don't know if you guys can notice, but this one uh, seems a lot smaller on how it's growing. And, it's, and that's the same one that wasn't growing last time. But when I was on the Facebook page, the Midlighter Garden Facebook page, someone posted a picture of how their sweet potato was not growing the slips. And then when they got a closer look, they looked inside the jar, in, inside the water in the jar and noticed the slips were growing down here. So then that made me want to look at mine and I noticed mine too were growing slips inside the water with a little bit of roots. So then what I did was I just flipped the whole potato, sweet potato, upside down and then I just took off the roots see these are the little dried roots and within two days I started noticing roots thick root roots growing from this end and then these slips just started popping up all over the place so then I went on to the World Wide Web and I couldn't find anything that said that there's a top or a bottom to a sweet potato. But for me, this kind of proves that there is a top or a bottom of the sweet potato. And I know people say to sit there and stick the skinny end in, stuck the skinny end into the jar. And for some reason, that was the end that the slips were growing out of. And the other end was the one for the roots. And I don't know, it kind of like, you know, it's pretty interesting to find out that only one end will grow the sweet potatoes and the other would not. So let me know if you guys have uh, had issues like this before or if there's anything out there that says what is actually the top or what is actually the bottom. I would really appreciate that and I'll see you guys on the Midlighter Facebook page and if you're not part of the Midlighter Facebook page come and join our group. Uh, we're just a big family of loving gardeners. <laughs> And that's it. I'll see you guys next time. And this is Melissa with MomSimpleLife.com. Uh, please like, share, and subscribe. And thank you guys so much. If you guys have subscribed, I finally made that huge milestone for me. I know it might not see, seem like a lot to you guys, but I finally got to the 100 subscribers, and I was really thrilled. That was very exciting for me. And thank you to everyone that made that possible. Thank you, guys. Love you. Bye.